Hello STAT 200 and welcome to the Lesson 4 Overview video. This week you're going to be learning about confidence intervals. There's a lot of content this week as we'll be covering all of Chapter 3 in the Lock 5 textbook. I strongly encourage you to get a good head start this week. On the first and last page of the Lesson 4 online notes you will see this table. I recommend copying this table onto an index card and keeping it handy for the next few weeks. All of the procedures that we're going to be learning this week will be dependent on the parameter being estimated. You will need to be able to look at a scenario or a research question this week and determine the parameter that's being estimated. Now, let's look at the new key topics that will be introduced this week. First, you'll be introduced to sampling distributions. There are many videos in the online notes this week that use StatKey to demonstrate how sampling distributions can be constructed when population values are known. Then, you'll move on to learn about confidence intervals. This is the first inferential statistics procedure that you'll be seeing this semester. We'll also review statistical inference. Finally, much of this week will be spent using bootstrapping methods to construct bootstrap sampling distributions and bootstrap confidence intervals. Bootstrapping methods are used when you do not have population values. It uses an observed sample to simulate a sampling distribution that can be used to construct a confidence interval. Let's start by taking a quick look at sampling distributions. Sample statistics are random variables. In Lesson 1, you learned about simple random sampling methods, and you saw that if you take multiple simple random samples from one population, they would all be different. Because with each simple random sample, a different combination of individual cases are selected. For example, if we had a quantitative variable, if we would take a simple random sample and measure a sample mean, and then take a second simple random sample and measure the sample mean, those two sample means would likely be different. We would expect both to be close to the population mean, but neither may be equal to it. This week, you're going to simulate this procedure using StatKey. StatKey is an open access application which means that it is free and available for anyone to use. And one of the reasons why I like it is that it has examples that correspond to those in your textbook. First, you'll see some examples of constructing sampling distributions when population values are known, but then you'll move on to confidence intervals, which require a sampling distribution when the population values are not known. A confidence interval uses sample data to estimate a population parameter. This week, you'll see how bootstrapping methods can be used to construct a sampling distribution that can be used to construct a confidence interval for any of the population parameters that we've reviewed earlier. This is the first example of statistical inference that we've seen in this course. Recall from Lesson 1, we want to make a conclusion about a population but we don't have access to all of the population values. We take a sample from that population and we collect data from the sample. We use data from a sample to make an inference about the population. This week, we're learning about confidence intervals, so that inference will be an estimation. Confidence intervals use data from a sample to estimate a population parameter. To construct a confidence interval, we'll need to construct a sampling distribution. This week, you'll learn how to construct sampling distributions using bootstrapping procedures. Bootstrapping is a resampling procedure. Random samples are drawn from a known sample with replacement. With replacement means that after an observation has been selected, it is put back into the sample and may be selected again. It is possible for the same individual to be selected more than once in the same bootstrap sample. With each bootstrap sample, the statistic of interest is computed. The distribution of statistics is known as the bootstrap distribution. The bootstrap distribution may be used to construct a confidence interval. You'll primarily be using StatKey to construct bootstrap distributions and confidence intervals this week. There are quite a few examples in the online notes, there are also instructions for using Minitab Express. This concludes the Lesson 4 overview. This is one of our bigger lessons. I suggest that you break it down into smaller pieces. 
For example, you can use the sections in the textbook. If you have any trouble seeing how the online notes, textbook, and Wiley Plus homework align, you should post a question on the Lesson 4 discussion board in your course in Canvas. This is something that your instructor can help you with.